Everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and in today's GT Online video we're going to be taking a look at some more movie cars. Now all of the previous episodes have followed a theme whether that was a specific franchise or a period in time. Today's episode is not going to follow a theme it's just going to be random miscellaneous movie cars that I might have forgot to add to some of the other lists and um, also some that didn't really fit into a category. So as ever, if you have some suggestions for a franchise that you want me to cover or a specific vehicle you want me to add to a list, then drop it down in the comments. I'll be sure to read it or you can tweet it at me on Twitter. But let's get straight into it and start at the first one. So the first car we're looking at today is the LCC Sanctus and this is Ghost Rider's bike. Um, a very cool bike I have to say, um, this was added in the Halloween update. Um, not much you got to do with this either, just buy the bike and you're good to go. Then we have another motorcycle, we have the Tron bike and this is the Shitaro in GT Online. One of the fastest bikes in the class and also one of the best looking in my opinion and it does obviously come from the Tron series. Then we have Doc Hudson from the movie Cars, an awesome movie in my opinion, one of the best movies ever made. Um, it is definitely one of my childhood movies. And we can get Doc Hudson or a Doc Hudson livery, the Hudson Horner, in GT Online. And for this one, you use the Hermes and apply the fabulous Hermes livery. Then we have another vehicle from the Cars movie, and this is the King, also inspired by Richard Petty's car. He is a famous NASCAR driver, for those of you who don't know. And you can get a similar livery, not 100% spot on, but it is noticeable that that is what it's inspired from. And for this one, I've used the Gauntlet Classic Custom. Then we move on to the Death Proof Nova. For this one, I have used the Vamos, obviously based off a classic Nova. And you can get this livery that has the skull and crossbones on the bonnet. Apart from that, all you have to do is paint the car black. Then we have the Eleanor Mustang, and for this one I've used the Vapid Ellie, and even the name of this vehicle suggests that is where it comes from. It is based off a Shelby GT500, and you can get the livery nearly 100% spot on. Then we have the Initial D Toyota AE86, and for this one I've used the Futo, and you could also use the Ballista Compact for this one. Um, I've used the Futo just because I feel like you can get it closer, but you could also use the Ballista Compact, uh, which is a very similar looking vehicle. Both of those vehicles will fit this uh, build quite nicely, and all you have to do is paint it white and black. Then we have the Johnny English V8 Vantage. This is the Aston Martin from Johnny English Strikes Again. And it does get quite a lot of screen time in that movie. It's sort of an unsung hero in that film. And it's an awesome vehicle, I have to say. It has all the James Bond-esque upgrades on it. Sadly, we don't have those in GTA Online, but you can get the build fairly similar. Then we have the Koningsegg Agera R from the Need for Speed film. Now there was three identical Ageras in that film and you could build any one of those vehicles. There was a white one, a silver one and the red one. I've gone to build the red one here because it gets the most screen time in the movie. So I felt that the, the red one was more noticeable. And for this one I've used the... Overflood Entity XXR, obviously based off a Koningsegg Agera R. 
Then we have the Z-Type. This comes from the Overdrive movie, which is on Netflix for you to watch if you haven't watched it already. It is a fantastic film if you're into cars like myself, then it is a fantastic movie. I definitely recommend it. And um, this car gets a lot of screen time in the film. It's sort of the main car in the film, if you will. Um, and obviously it is based off of the Bugatti Type 57 Atlantica, which is over £40 million. Um, thankfully, it doesn't cost that much in GT Online. Um, but you can get this one, and it is a pretty cool vehicle. Then we have the Mystery Machine from Scooby-Doo, and for this one I've used the Yuga Classic. Now, I've used some mods here to match the um, secondary colour to the livery, so that is why it looks so accurate. Unfortunately, you can't get it 100% accurate to match the livery in GT Online, unless you do use mods. Um, so you won't be able to get it exactly the same, but just for the purpose of this video, I wanted to try and match it. Um, but nevertheless, if you apply this livery to it and paint the wheels orange, then it is fairly obvious what build you're trying to make. Then we have the Toy Story RC car, and for this one I have used the Bifter. Not much explanation needed for this one, obviously just apply the colours to match and apply the spoiler on the back. Then we have the green Alfa Romeo Giulia from uh, the Six Underground film, and for this one I have used the Lampadati Komoda in GT Online. A fairly new car, not much you have to do with this one though, just paint it green and the car already looks fairly similar. Then we have the yellow Deuce Coupe, and this one comes from the American Graffiti film, and shout out to Shift Trucker for suggesting this one to me. It is a pretty cool vehicle and I hadn't covered it in any of my episodes so far. So hopefully you're watching and I am covering it in this one. And that is going to be it for this list today. As I mentioned at the start of the video, if you have any suggestions for a specific vehicle or franchise that you want me to cover, then be sure to drop that in the comment section down below or tweet it at me on Twitter. Uh, but that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy and I hope you found it useful. And I will see you all in the next episode.